We're going to look at gold futures. Um, as you can see, we did have a inverted head and shoulders pattern that played out. We got a break and retest of the neckline and the pattern it completed. So I notated the high of April, the close of April and the low of April. OK, that's what I have notated here. Matter of fact, it's a little off. There we go. What I'm going to look for on the weekly is number one, I want to see how price is going to react. So I do need it to stay underneath that monthly close. Excuse me. I need it to stay underneath that monthly close. And then I want to see how it reacts to April's low. So if I start to see that it's respecting this area where there's also a gap, then we will get a continuation up. We have to take it up to the monthly close, see how it reacts to that. And if we get higher momentum, great. Once I determine what's going on from here, I'm either going to take it back up here to our monthly close. You can see there's a gap right here. So we needed to essentially land on top of that gap and go back up. Otherwise, it will break it. And we're going to look for it to break on the daily, maybe a four hour or one hour retest, and we can take it back down to this area of structure. So our first stop, number one, is we want to see price hold below April's close. So it has to hold below. Right now, we have two days left for this weekly candle to close so we can close with a wick on the top so we can't get excited yet but we can take advantage of it on shorter time frames so if we stay below this as you can see on the daily this is good now we need price to stay underneath so once price confirms that it's staying underneath that close we're going to see how it reacts to this gap right here on the daily if we break through that we're going to take it back to our monthly low then from there we will assess if we sense bullish momentum up or if it's gonna break it to give us another move down and we'll continue to use structure to help us identify pivot areas that it could potentially reverse or where we can take our profits. So right now it's essentially a waiting game, but that is how I assess my monthly candle and I hope that helps you.